Everyone forgets their passwords. That's why it's essential for your app to have a forget and reset password function. Don't know how? Don't worry. I'm here to tell you the simplest and most straightforward way that you can implement this in your Flutterflow apps using Superbase. There's also a special treat at the end of the video that you don't want to miss, so stay tuned for that. Cue the demo now. Hello friends and welcome back to another Flutterflow tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be seeing how we can implement a forgot password page and an email will then be sent to the user's email which they can click on the link and they'll be sent to a reset password page which will allow them to reset their password. Alright, so let's get into it right now. So the prerequisites that you need to have is this project over here which you can clone down in the description below. It has a home page over here, a forgot password page, the usual login and register pages as well as a reset password page over here. You would also need a super base project such as this one that I've just created. A base super base project will do. Alright, so going back into your Flutterflow project, we will first need to link our Flutterflow project to our super base project. So we will go under settings and integrations. And under integrations, we'll go to super base and we will need to copy and paste the API URL as well as the add on key over here. So going into our super base project, we will go to project settings. And under API, we'll copy our project URL as well as our anon key. And then we'll get schema to link our super base project to our Flutterflow project. Next, going back into the widget tree, we can now work on our forget password page. So for our forget password page, we will allow the user to enter an email where they want to send the reset password email to. And as for the send link button over here, you can see that there's already an action added. If we open the action flow editor just to see what action it is, it is a super base auth reset password action. And the email field is our email address text field over here. So what this action does is that prompts super base that the user is wanting to reset their password and super base will then send an email to the user's email that they have entered over here. All right, so now the next step is to configure our Superbase project. So moving over to our Superbase project, we first have to go to authentication over here. And we have to go under URL configuration. So under site URL, this is the site URL for our app. So we have to go under Flutterflow and under settings and integrations. We will first go under platforms and we will enable web over here. Next, we will go under app settings and web publishing. We can see that there's this site URL over here which we will copy and we'll paste it over here in our site URL and then we'll save this. And we also have to add a redirect URL so that we can redirect our users to the reset password page specifically this reset password page over here. So whenever the user clicks on the link in the email later, which we will send, the user is automatically sent to this reset password page. So for the redirect URL, we have to add a new URL and it will be that first part of our site URL that we copied just now. But now we have to add the root for our reset password page URL, which is over here. So we copy this now. And we add a backslash and we paste our root reset password page over here. Now we can add our URL and this URL will direct the user specifically to our reset password page. Next, we have to configure our email template and we have to choose the reset password option over here. And just beside this confirmation URL over here, we will add a backslash and we will give the name of our reset password page, which is reset password page, just like this. And this name is the same name as inside your Flutterflow root over here, reset password page. After that, you have to click on save to save this email template. We also have to go under providers over here, and we have to go all the way to our email provider 
and we have to disable this confirm email as well as secure email change toggles as it's not fully integrated with Flutterflow just yet. Then we click on save and we're done with configuring Superbase to send emails to reset our password. And now we have to add some custom code in order to allow Flutterflow to actually reset our password. So in our custom code section over here, I've actually already added the custom code required to reset our password with Superbase. But just in case any of you are curious, I will quickly explain what the code means right now. So this part of the code right here is basically what will actually update the user's password in our Superbase table as well. And over here, it says that it will return now if the user has successfully reset their password. But in the chance that there's an error over here, it will simply return the error message so that we can show it to the users later. So it's actually that simple to reset our user's password using some lines, just a few lines of custom code. All right, so going back into our widget tree, let's actually implement our custom code now. So with the reset password button selected, let's open the action flow editor and we'll delete this action for now. We don't want that. And now we will add a new action and this will be our custom action of resetting our password. So, so we'll simply go on the widget state and we'll choose this new password reset password text view option over here. And our action output variable will also be an error if any. So we'll just give it the name error. And now we can add a conditional action over here. And for this, it'll be the condition, a single condition. And the condition will be if our action output of error is not set or is empty. So if our error is an empty value, which means our error is now, which represents this over here, the user has successfully reset their password. So what we can do is that we can add a snack bar over here. So we can show a snack bar. And for this value, it can just be success. But if there is an error, we can then just show an information dialog. For the value, it can be unsuccessful for the value of the title and the message over here, we can actually show our message from our action output and we can show the error message over here so that the user knows what went wrong. And one more thing, after we show the snack bar for the successful resetting of the password, we can then just navigate back to our login page for the user to log in. So now we can close this and that's it, we're done with our function to reset our password. So now we can actually try testing out our app. While we're waiting for test mode to load, let me also tell you something about the Superbase SMTP provider. If you scroll up over here, you can see that there's a warning over here saying that the built-in email service is rate limited. And this means that there's a limit to the number of emails that Superbase is able to send to users. And there's only four emails per hour. And Superbase does specify in their documentation that their built-in email service is simply for testing purposes only and not for actual production services. However, if you'd like to implement a custom SMTP service email service provider called Resend that is able to be flawlessly integrated with Superbase and is able to send many more emails to users, do check out this video that I link on the top right hand corner over here as well as in the description below. Alright, so Testma is just loaded up. And first we need to register an actual account with the email that we want the reset password email to be sent to. For the password, you can just give it 123456. Once we have created an account, we can log out. And now let's try resetting our password over here. So this brings us to the forgot password page and we can enter that same email address. And now we can press on send link. And over here, we can see that we have received a notification that the password reset email has been sent. So now let's just go to our email. And you can see that we have actually received an email from Superbase to reset our password by clicking on this link.
we should see that now we're brought to the reset password page over here. And if we try to enter a new password, let's say password 1234, over here like this, and if we click on reset password, you see a success snack bar and we are sent to our login page. And if we try to log in using our new password, you can see that it worked and we have successfully changed our password. If you'd like to learn how to implement Resend as your custom SMTP so that you don't have rate limits anymore in Superbase, check out this video over here. You don't want to miss it.